because it is extremely empowering when you realize, yes, I can do this job. Yes, I'm just as strong as some of my male counterparts. Yes, I'm fully capable of this. I've done the work, I've done the skills. I mean, it's very empowering in that way because you almost feel like you're standing on top of the world and it's a huge confidence boost. And um, we just have to try to be careful to keep ourselves from being too big and too tall. But I overall love being a woman in this career field. So in EMS, of course, you hear the awful horror stories of we aren't paid very well. We have come a long way in EMS from when it first started. Um, and a lot of us aren't in it for the money. Um, we're in it to serve our community and to have that compassion. I um, mean, there are so many ways you can go. I've worked with EMTs who got their EMT um, to be a stepping stone into PA school because you get a wide, rate of, wide range of patient contacts and different cases and different treatments you're able to do. Medics who've gone to nursing school, you can go to flight school um, to become a flight paramedic. You can also take the fire department route and get on the fire department and work your way up there. There's so many endless ways and opportunities where EMS can start you. You can have a full career in EMS, but you can also spend five years in EMS just to use it as a stepping stone into your next part of life. I genuinely do love making a difference in my community because I mean, we do it all. We've gone to schools where we've done career days and I've given tours of our trucks and told them about what I've been able to do. Um, and we do events like that. We've done trunk or treats, um, just to be part of the community and let people know that, hey, we're here, we do more than just the scary 911 stuff. I just genuinely love my job, and I know I say that a lot, <laughs> and I love the career that I've chosen. It's, to me, it's very well worth it, and I hope other people find the same passion in it that I do. Mm -hmm.